Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. O Almighty Lord and everlasting God, thou safe we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul through our Lord Chief and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, the strength of all those who put their trust in thee. Mercifully accept our prayers and because through the weakness of our mortal nature we can do no good thing without thee. Grant us the help of thy grace that in keeping thy commandments we may please thee both in will and deed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The epistle is written in the first epistle of St. John, in the fourth chapter, beginning in the seventh verse. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. Here in his love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Thereby, hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us, because he hath given us of his Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. 
We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. There was a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs for, which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivedst thy good things, and Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. And beside all this between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. And he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldst send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, If they fear not, hear not Moses and the prophets, Neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. That's a pack of wallop pair of messages with one message. Love one another. And it didn't say anything about of our own, did it? And if you remember the Good Samaritan, somebody tried to nitpick Jesus to say, okay, so who's my neighbor? And he told a story about a Samaritan who was more of a neighbor than some neighbors. Okay. So who's your brother? Maybe a lot of people that some of the people that you know wouldn't want to think of as your brother. And the rich man didn't get it. Even in torment, he tells Abraham, Hey! Send Lazarus down here. Have him give you a drink of water, because I'm uncomfortable. He didn't get it. Meanwhile, Lazarus, my guess is, based on what I know of dogs, Lazarus must have been basically a good guy. Because dogs don't care for just anyone. They're not going to just care for anybody for the sake of caring for somebody, no. But they look out for the good people. Anybody that I want to size up, I have them meet my dogs. For a reason. And Abraham made a good point. 
given all that people have and all that they've been shown and all that they've been told. You think they're going to pay any better attention if somebody comes back from the dead? Well, according to the Christians, somebody did come back from the dead. And some of them don't seem to be following what he taught either. One of the reasons for why I keep talking about building bridges, why I talk about John 10, 16, about I have sheep which are not of this fold. He didn't say how many sheep, and I did. he didn't say how many folds or where they were, did he? But I've certainly found some paths that are not incompatible with what he taught. As a matter of fact, I found a lot of them that are totally compatible, except they don't have that particular label. Which doesn't mean that he, that they're not going to have a label that means the same thing. I enjoy beer as much as the next guy. And one of the things I can tell you about beer is I've seen people argue about two different brands of beer and which one is better. And what they didn't know is that they were brewed by the same brewing company. For all either one of them knew, it could actually be the same beer. And that leads me to what I'm going to develop into a slogan. Religious disputes are like two siblings arguing over who has the better parent. Yeah, these give us something to ponder over for this lifetime. And to figure out what we can do. And so mote it be. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary, and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory, to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications, and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee to most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations. 
and to receive these our prayers which we do offer unto thee, thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace and especially to this congregation here present that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for thou, all thy servants, departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate, Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this hum holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God devoutly needed. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please Thee in newness of life, to the honor and glory of Thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of His great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and sincere faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right in our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto Thee. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels 
and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. O oh, glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father. For that thou, of thy tender mercy, didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue, a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And now, and we most humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of, our, of thy Son, Jesus Christ, filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him that he may dwell in us, and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We do not presume to come unto this thy table. O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat this flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance, that Christ died for thee, and feed on him. In thy heart, by faith, with thanksgiving. the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance, that Christ's blood was shed for thee, and be thankful. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee, for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us. 
who have truly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate, in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord God, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only art O Christ, our most high, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you all. This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.